Good evening, everybody. This is Pat Tabbitt from ManoverMarket.com, and this is the uh, end of day recap for the ES market, July 29th. Uh, we'll start this recap with our pre-market commentary from this morning. Uh, as you can see here, we uh, highlighted some uh, key levels for you um, at the time of the report. The uh, uh, Globex high was uh, at 1976.75 and we had concluded from Monday uh, day session action which was dominated by sellers early on and then finished the day uh, on the upside uh, after rallying most of the day with a volume above time in a bullish TPO count we were actually bullish bullish this morning with our first uh, perceived resistance at 77.50. Um, as of 6.30 in the morning, uh, the ES had consolidated at uh, the VPOC area from yesterday and managed to exceed uh, the uh, uh, previous day's high by uh, three ticks, and the Globex high was actually 76.75. In a session high, uh, day session high on Monday was 76 even. So from that, we um, had a forecast for the ES to go higher with initial resistance at 77 half, 82 quarter, and 85.75. And we saw support at 67.50 from the uh, TPO distribution, actually, 64 and 60. So with that, let's uh, go over to the chart and see what happened. Uh, we had uh, a little challenge of the pivots at 2 a.m. Uh, as you can see, uh, at that level, at the time, 73.50, the um, ES failed to close above the pivot. So the area got rejected and trended down from there to make a low at the time of 67.75 and then staged a rally back up to the resistance pivot which obviously had moved down at that point to uh, this area of 72 even and as you can see this time the pivot was taken out and violated which started a new uptrend at 6.30 uh, when I was basically uh, between 6 and 6.30 when I prepared the report, I saw this market uh, gaining uh, momentum on the upside. I was actually uh, looking for an up day from that point on. And uh, we cited the first resistance at 77.5, which actually uh, happened uh, at 7.05. The market failed to close above that resistance level, sold off. Uh, went back up and failed to exceed uh, that previous Globex high and then uh, traded down to the pivot which at that point was at uh, 73 half failed to uh, close below that support pivot so the market again found rejection and rallied on up to make a new high uh, at 9.15, which was at uh, 79.5, which turned out to be the high of the day. From there, the market sold off and tested that same pivot one more time, the 70, uh, 73.50 uh, area. And this time, it went through the pivot, as you can see, um, and started a new downtrend, uh, which took us all the way down to the initial support level that we had uh, cited again in the uh, pre-market report at 67.5. Then it found rejection, rallied all the way back up to the resistance pivot, which was at 76 even. Uh, it just ticked there and failed to exceed it. And then the market sold off again, uh, this time to make uh, a new low on the day, uh, basically taking out that previous uh, support level um, and uh, all the way down to the next support level, which was 64, 
exceeded it a little bit and then bounced back to finish the day at 64 half. So we had uh, essentially today uh, one challenge of the pivots that turned out to be a really good entry. We had a violation of the pivot uh, that turned out to be a good entry. Another challenge with, uh, which would have been also a good entry. A violation which would have made again a good entry. A challenge which would have made a great entry once again. So um, we, uh, we, we think that uh, this, these pivots acted actually pretty well today and uh, we'll see what uh, we can uh, get out of them tomorrow. So if you're not a member, uh, please register uh, on our website. It's a free registration. All it takes is a valid email address and you can register at uh, manovermarket.com. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.